In this video, we will discuss five things not to do with apples. Stick around as we explore what they are. After this video, you will be equipped with what not to do with apples. Share it and they will love you. First up, don't waste them. Apples are a treasure trove of nutrients, and tossing them away is like throwing out gold. Bursting with an abundance of dietary fiber, these delicious fruits can keep your digestive system in peak condition. They're also packed with vitamins like vitamin C, lending a hand in boosting your immunity. But that's not all. Apples are rich in antioxidants, those powerful compounds that help combat harmful free radicals in your body. But what about the scraps, the cores, the peels? Don't be so quick to throw them away. These bits can be put to good use too. I, ever thought about making your own cider vinegar? Those apple scraps can be your secret ingredient. And if you're into gardening, apple peels and cores can be composted, giving your plants a nutrient-rich treat. So next time, think twice before you toss those apple bits into the bin. Secondly, don't skip the peel. You might be surprised to know that a significant amount of nutrients are packed into that thin layer. Uh, that's right. The peel is not just a barrier protecting the juicy flesh inside, but a powerhouse of health benefits itself. For starters, apple peel is a fantastic source of dietary fiber. This fiber aids in digestion, helps maintain a healthy weight, and can even lower the risk of developing heart disease. But that's not all. The peel also holds a high concentration of antioxidants, compounds that protect our bodies from harmful free radicals. Now, if you're going to munch on the peel, it's best to choose organic apples. Why? Because non-organic apples can often be coated with pesticides. Organic apples, on the other hand, are grown without these potentially harmful chemicals. Remember, the peel is more than just a wrapper, it's a nutrient-rich bonus. So, next time you're about to bite into an apple, think twice before you peel it. Thirdly, avoid improper storage. Apples are not fans of warmth and light, which can make them spoil faster. Now, you might find it tempting to just leave your apples on the kitchen counter, but resist that temptation. Instead, find a cool, dark place like a refrigerator drawer. This is where your apples will be happiest, maintaining their crispness and flavor for longer. But that's not all. Apples have a little secret. They emit ethylene gas. This isn't harmful to us, but it can cause other fruits to ripen quickly. So, if you don't want your bananas going brown before their time, or your oranges getting soft, it's best to store apples separately. Think of it this way. Apples are like that friend who needs a bit of space. Give them their own corner and they'll be just fine. Keep your apples cool and dark and they'll keep you healthy and bright. Fourthly, Let's discuss the importance of avoiding cooking apples in metal pots and pans. It might sound strange, but metal can react with the acid in apples, leading to some unwanted effects. Certain metals, particularly aluminum and cast iron, can lead to an interaction with the natural acids present in apples. This interaction may result in your fruit turning an unappetizing brown color. But discoloration is not the only concern. The reaction also alter the taste of your apples, introducing an unwanted metallic flavor that's a far cry from the sweet and taste we all enjoy. Moreover, glass or ceramic dishes are excellent choices as they won't interfere with the taste or appearance of your apples. So, forget about the metal and reach for glass or ceramic when cooking your apples. Your taste buds and your health will thank you. Lastly, don't forget to wash your apples. They may look clean, but they can carry dirt and pesticides. Washing apples under running water isn't just about removing visible dirt or making them glisten. It's about ensuring that we remove any lingering pesticides that may have been used during cultivation. These substances can have harmful effects if consumed. Remember, it's not enough to just wipe them on your shirt. A clean apple is a safe apple, so make sure to give them a good rinse. And there you have it, five things not to do with apples. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe for more inspiring content. Thanks for watching and happy apple eating.